Hello all and welcome back to the channel. I'm looking very much forward to giving you a status on all the birds and a lot is really going on. Even though some birds are still breeding outdoor, the outdoor breeding season is coming to an end, whereas the indoor breeding season is really beginning to kick right now. As always, I love to hear the thoughts, so please leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have something to add. Of course, we're going to look at the outdoor bird aviary. We're going to look at the aviary with budgies, cockatoos and the chickens. And finally, in the end of the video, we are going to take a look at the indoor bird room with more than 20 cages. But firstly, a status on the 20 meter outdoor bird aviary. I've stopped providing most of the frozen insects and basically this means that the softbills will stop breeding. Most of them are in mold right now and some are already ready with their feathers for the winter. This year I was very lucky and I got several clutches from the peeking robins. I've already catched four of them, but a few of the chicks are still in the aviary and as you can see here they're beginning to pairing up. It's truly a joy to watch their behavior as you can see it here. A pair of red cardinals was quite unsuccessful this year. They had at least four attempts, but all the eggs were blank. But hopefully next year they will succeed. Right now they are both in mold. The red cardinal, also known as the northern cardinal, is together with the red crested cardinals extremely hardy birds and they will stay outdoor all year. Most, if not all, the finches will go indoor, whereas my white cheek tarragos will stay outdoor all year as well. Due to the autumn, a lot of the leaves from the plants are falling off right now and this has uh, made me realize that I need to add much more uh, evergreen plants also because some of the plants present have uh, died. And also thought a lot about this uh, during the summer and I'm quite confident right now that I need to add much more plants when I have so many birds in the aviary. Not only does the green plants uh, look very good in the aviary during the summer and the rest of the year, but also I noticed that many of the birds actually do prefer to build their own nests. So I need to provide much more uh, places for nest building than I had this year. Especially some of the softbills like to build the nests themselves. And I think this year I had some uh, failed attempts as the nesting places were discovered by other birds. Further, more plants in the aviary will provide more shelter from the weather. Finally, many of the birds and also some species I didn't thought would do it, actually kept eating uh, from several of the plants. And especially the village weavers kept pulling leaves of the plants to be used for their nest building. So the plants I'm going to add need to resist all these things from the birds. Luckily some plants can do this and some of these plants I already have in the aviary. Therefore I'm going to add many more tuyas and many more efoy. Both of these plants are more or less resistant to the birds. They are evergreen and they are very good shelters for the birds when breeding. I know both plants are said to be poisons, but uh, I have never seen any problems with my birds. And speaking about breeding birds, yesterday I discovered a new clutch of eggs from the starfinches. At the best timing, as I've already begun moving birds indoor, including some of the starfinches, but we will see what happens. I'm really enjoying my pair of white cheek tarragos. They are so fun birds to have in the aviary and completely different from all the other smaller ones. They made several attempts to breed this year. All attempts failed, either because all eggs were blank or because the birds didn't manage to incubate them correctly. Nevertheless, it's still a very young pair, so uh, I think they will come back next year and try again. My kids' rabbits are enjoying life and, not surprisingly, getting more and more rabbit kittens. So we are up to 12 rabbits right now. Also, the budgies are breeding more or less like the rabbits. So slowly I'm getting a real big flock of budgets. At the same time, I published a note saying that I would take over the birds if some people had some, they couldn't have any more. So the last couple of weeks, I got several birds in from other people. I'm really getting more and more fond of the budgets, both their behavior and all their colors. At the moment, this aviary is by far the one where most is going on all the time. It's so lively and uh, sometimes very noisy, but I'm truly enjoying it and all the kids are as well. As you may recall, I moved my pair of starlings indoor for the breeding. They had one uh, chick, uh, very successful, and now all three of them are moved back outdoor in this aviary. Also, my pair of red crested cardinals that were indoor all breeding season is now back outdoor again. Indeed, due to some faults of mind when uh, feeding them, they did not have a good season. And I noticed they were getting more and more fat, so I had to move them outdoor again, where they had plenty of room for 
flying and losing all the fat again. The problem I've seen many times with the red crested cardinals, they have a tendency to become way too fat. Several of you have asked if I have any problems with the bodies together with the chickens, and I'm very happy to say that I don't have any problems at all in this aviary with the mix of birds. And now we are moving indoor. You can see my black and white mannequins are in the middle of mold and not looking very good, but actually they've begun building a nest at the same time. But perhaps they will only use it for sleeping. My white breasted and yellow Gulden finches have also begun building a nest and hopefully they will lay eggs soon. Most of my Gulden finches prefer to breed during the winter. Most of my society finches are not doing anything right now. I will have them as backup parents if needed. Some of my canary birds, including this mosaic red canary bird pair, have been breeding during summer and now they are ready for a pause. Contrary to this, this Gouldian finch pair is just beginning the breeding season. As you may recall, I succeeded, finally, in getting two female uh, jumbo zebra finches a few weeks ago and now they're beginning to breed. The one is paired up with this white male and I'm looking very much forward to seeing the colors of their chicks. Here we have another pair of Gouldian finches. They are also slowly beginning building a nest. Here we have some different sparrows, finches, waxbills, only waiting for the summer to come again so they can go outdoor and breed again. When my indoor every have been cleaned, I will move all these birds so they can have some more room. And over here we have some more cages, both with birds breeding and with birds waiting. In here we have a quite new pair of canaries. They have uh, begun building, but they are messing it up because they keep filling the nest with uh, a lot of different things, so there isn't enough room for themselves. So perhaps I should move it all and let them begin again. Here we have another pair of Magulians. The female just got indoor a few days ago, so they haven't begun anything yet. And in here again some wax bills and some different kinds of uh, white eyes waiting for the summer. I still need to catch some of the white eyes outdoor, but when I have all of them, I'll try to sex them with DNA. This year one of my broad ringed white eyes paired up with a peking robin, so I need to figure out how to stop this. Here we have yet a pair of new canary birds. I really love their colors, but they haven't begun breeding or singing or anything, so we'll wait and see what's going on. In here we have some uh, owl finches together with a mixed pair of grenadiers. The male is a purple grenadier and the female is a violet-eared grenadier, so I need to find the correct uh, partners for them for next year's breeding. This wonderful pair of diamond firetail finches have just begun breeding and dancing, so perhaps they will begin building a nest soon. As I told you, I have two pairs of uh, jumbo or XL separate finches, and this pair is my normal colored one. They are not doing anything yet. And finally, we have my one or two indoor aviaries, where a lot of birds is simply waiting to coloring out or for the summer to be back or to be DNA sexed. As always, a lot is going on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, bye bye, and see you soon.